Hello everyone, my name is Agustin Clemente and today I'm showing you the Vitos automation tool that can help us to generate unit tests in a matter of seconds. Wanna see it? Let's go. I have a working API here that manages to do's. I have my logic written right here and if I wanted I could manually test this. I can see if I can get all to do's, I can get only one of them, I can create, I can put, I can delete, I can do everything with my API and I can test this in Postman manually. Okay, so every endpoint works, but if I made some change or something changes in my code, I had to manually come here and test every endpoint again. Some unit testing, automated unit testing could help a lot here. Fortunately, we have the Vitos automation tool that will help us to generate all those tests for us. The usage of this tool is very simple. You have to call this shell script and pass as a first argument the file that you want to cover with tests. And then you can, you can optionally pass some other files that will help the AI to have context on that first file. Okay. So let me run this. It will ask me for a prepared testing framework. I like super test. And then it will generate the unit tests, which I have to wait a little. The AI is working now. It is reading our first file and generating unit tests using all the other files as context. Okay. Once it finishes, it will generate this test file at the same directory that the shell script is stored. So let's see it. It will generate it here. Okay, let's copy this test into my project. I will create a new file here. Controllers test. Let me just check the imports. This is our DB. And I think we should run this. Let's just npm test. And okay, <laughs> this is great. It created a bunch of test cases for happy and for error paths and all of them are passing and covering our code. That's great. That's pretty great. Now let's, let's just read some of the test cases to assert that this is covering the right way, our logic. It is written here, happy but test should fetch all to do's. As you can see, it is smoking the DB connection here and the response, it will respond with this mock data, test to do and test description. And when you make a get request to this path, that's what was read from this file, this context file, it will respond with this code and this data. It is great. Specific to do is the same. It will respond not with an array, but with just one object at this road. To create a new one, it would, if you post a new to do, it will be created with this code. Update is the same, updated to do, delete, row count one, deleted. That's perfect. Now let's see some error paths here because at the first part of the video, I covered manually testing the happy paths, but I haven't covered the error paths and this is covering them. So this is great. Let's see the first one. Should handle errors when fetching to do's. Okay, it is smoking an error coming from the database and then that error should, should be replicated to the response response given to the user. So 
it should respond with 500 and then internal server error with which is pretty accurate and this test is passing like the rest of them this is awesome should handle error when creating a to do it is making something like invalid input data it is testing the boundaries of our api and the input data that it accepts so it is asserting that we are responded with a 400 error but request and with this message keys title and description are required this is great it just read it from here and it is replicating it into a test case an error path test case that's awesome and it is doing the same for the rest of the endpoints it is checking the update and delete endpoint 2 so it covered all the endpoints not only with happy paths but also for error and boundary and invalid input paths so that's awesome so now maybe you are wondering where did all this code came from let's see the prompts used in this automation project they are stored here inside the prompts directory there are two prompts used for the testing code generation because you can call the Vito CLI tool more than one time and preserve the same context of the conversation. So this shell script takes advantage of that and generate the test iteratively. If we dive into the first prompt, you will see that there are some single simple guidelines here for test generation. It has a placeholder here for the desired testing framework and then it tells the ai to cover every function every method endpoint route and code path it also guides the ai to perform input and output validations and then to mock any dependency and isolation like databases other api etc if we continue reading we will see that this prompt also gives the file name to the AI and then there's this placeholder here in where all the context files content will be paste so the AI can read it so this first prompt is intended to generate some simple and functional test for our endpoints or functions now if we see the second prompt you will see that it is separated into two parts the first part we tell the AI to complete the happy path test only if needed. So when we come to the second part, we can ensure that the test of the happy paths are completed. And the second part tells the AI to generate the error path test. Now remember that you can modify any of these. Let's say that we only want happy paths to be covered with test. So we should only delist, delete this part. And then the, the first prompt will tell the AI to generate some basic test. And then the second prompt will tell the AI to complete those tests. And that's it. No error or boundary or bad input output validation. Only happy paths. So that's it. You can modify any of those prompts to your convenience. To use this automation tool, you first have to install the Vito CLI tool. Let's dip into that process. You have to go to Vito.ai, then you can click on get started, and then you can go to the install for CLI button here. It will redirect you to the Vitos repository and then you can find the install instructions for your OS right here. Once you have that installed, there's a little configuration step that you don't want to avoid. Let's see the configuration. You can list the configuration by running Vito config and the E flag. And as you can see, 
we are missing our access key. So I will show you how you can obtain yours. You may go to the Vito.ai page and then sign in with your account. I sign in with mine. And then you may go to the settings. But first, there's something that I want to show you regarding the billing and plans tab here. Now Vito has the forever free plan, but it also has the 10x developer plan. Let's clarify some differences between those two plans. The forever free plan uses GPT 3.5 and can generate up to 40,000 characters, which means that if the generated code exceeds that limit, the tool will fail. To get around this, you can use the 10x developer plan, which uses GPT 4.0 for better results, and it can also produce up to 240,000 characters. So you can produce a lot of code and it includes the AI that understands your code. So you can produce better code with context. Having clarified that, let's grab our access key you may go to advanced and then you can create a new key here. I will generate one. The name is optional. And then you may copy this key in this modal because you cannot do it after this one. Okay. Now let's, let's paste this and select which model you want to use. By default, the advanced one is set but you can also use the basic model if you want to. Okay, so having the bit of CLI tool installed and configured, we are ready to use the automation one. I have already cloned the repository here. You can clone it using the following command. It will clone this repository here, which is the automation one, which has three tools. Remember that we are covering just one of them in this video, but you can use all of the three tools for free. Okay, last but not least, remember to give execution permission to those two files there. Okay, well, that's it, guys. We just covered our API with testing using the magic shell script that Vito has handled us which is the Vito's automation tool. Remember that you can use it for free and you can use the 10X developer to get better results. Remember that you can read more documentation on the tools that I used on this video. If you go to the repositories here or maybe to the Vito.ai page. That's it for today. Have a nice day and happy coding.